Slay by Jordan. And today we got a good one, some new content for you guys. So the company we're working with today is Kalai Hair. Let's just get straight into it. So of course we got the wig. And all our goodies came with this little satin bag. So we got a scarf. Let me see. Oh, I have this print. Is this like zebra print? Leopard print? Some print? Leopard, cheetah, whatever. Giraffe. <laughs> this is a cute scarf though. I like this. Of course, we got our signature weed cap. We got some clips. Oh, got some clips. Love clips. And we got some eyelashes. Mm -mm. Now let's get into this wig. This is a 24, a 24 inch, 360 lace front wig. It is a body wave texture, I want to say. I have been playing with it, you know, off camera, so this is not how it came from. It still looks cute, like, look at that texture. Look at that. Look at that, honey. It is shedding a little bit, but, you know, I'm getting a few strands. But I have been like, when I say I've been playing around with this wig for at least like a good month. So that little shit, that, that's nice. The lace is, I wanna say, maybe like, light brown, transparent. I wanna say it's light brown, light brown. It's light brown. Um, this is the hairline in the front. As you can see, it comes pretty plucked. And then this is the hairline in the back. You can't really see it because, let me show you the inside construction of this wig. So in the front we have a 13 by four. Um, you only get like about two and a half inches apart space on the side, um, or maybe like three inches. Um, and there's two cones right on, on top of the front. And then there's one right here. And then you have this cone at the, um, bottom of the lid. And this is the lace in the back. You get about maybe like an inch and a half of part of space, like on the sides and in the back. So you see all these bands and all, and this comb. Every comb you see in the way, I'm cutting it out. And then in the back, just so we can have that real scalp-like effect, because I am going to glue this wig in the front, the sides, and the back. We're gonna cut this comb out. We're gonna cut the straps out. We're gonna cut all this extra lace material. All that is gonna be cut out and it's just gonna be completely exposed. I like to cut it using an eyebrow razor. It's just quicker and easier. But please take your time when cutting the combs and cutting all this excess stuff out because you don't wanna put a hole in your lace. But I've been doing this for a little while, so I'm gonna just do it. And um, after that, we're gonna color this wig in black. Pluck it all the way around. I'm gonna pluck it in the front, the side, and the back. And make sure you pluck that back really good. A lot of people don't pluck the back of their wigs when they install it, but please pluck the back. Pluck the back if you want it to look natural. Um, and yeah, we're gonna do like a ponytail style. I'm not really sure what kind of ponytail, but we are gonna pull the wig up so you can see like, you know, you can achieve a high ponytail with a 360 wig. And yeah, enough talking. What I action at? <laughs> See ya. Later. And y'all, this is the wig after I've taken all the combs out. As you can see, there are no combs. And this is the bottom back of the wig. Remember I told y'all earlier, be careful because you can put holes in your wig. I put two holes in the wig, but it doesn't matter. It's still going to be A-OK, -okay, and I'm going to show you guys. But as you can see, all that extra stuff in the back is gone. And then, now we have a complete ready canvas to do a 360 wig install. So let me go customize this off camera and I'll be back in the next clip. 
All right, y'all, as you can see, I put so many holes in this wig, plucking it. This is after I dyed the hair jet black, bleached the knots, and plucked it. I put so many holes in this wig, but I'm going to show you guys how I still finesse this wig. I'm using my yellow got to be glued gel to slick her edges back. We're going to slick them back in the front, the sides, and the back. You want to slick them upwards. Please, please don't forget to oil or either put some grease or some type of product on that scalp to protect from itchiness and also to possibly promote hair growth. After we have stretched her cap all over the front of her head and the back of her head, we're going to go ahead and cut her ear tabs out. And then we're going to take our black got to be glue gel and our yellow free spray. And we're just going to outline her hairline in the front, the side, and the back, and then follow it up. Um, with the spray and then we're going to stick her up on a hooded dryer for about 10 minutes on high just to make sure everything is completely dry She is now back from the dryer and we're going to cut that excess cap off and then we're going to apply her makeup to her cap off camera and then we'll be ready to put this wig on. I know, I know. 
I went ahead off camera and already laid out her four layers of glue and her last layer is dry so I'm proceeding to lay the lace down in the front. Don't worry, I'm going to show you guys how to apply the glue to the back and lay your lace down in the back and the sides. I just wanted to go ahead and get the front out the way. So while she continues to hold those uh, front pieces of lace down, we're going to proceed to start gluing her back down. As you can see, I laid the glue in the shape of her back hairline, her nape. And we're just going to smooth that out like we do the front. And make sure you put glue on the sides and up around the corner of that ear as well because that part needs to be glued down as well, especially if you are doing a full ponytail like we are doing today. For the front, we did four layers. For the back, we're going to do five to six layers. I did five. Make sure the head is bent forward, bent down as you're applying your glue and as you are laying your wig down. If their head is held back, like towards you, towards your body, while you're laying the wig down, when they hold their head down, the wig is going to snap out of place. So make sure they are holding their head down while you're applying the glue and while you are securing that lace onto the back of their head. And if you have any excess lace in the way while you're trying to glue down the sides in the back, go ahead and cut that out the way and then proceed to continue pressing down that lace into the skin. Now we're going to blow dry that lace into place using the teeth of our comb and our blow dryer interchanging between warm air and cool air. And then after that, we're going to tie down the back of the lace and the front of the lace and we're going to sit her up under a hooded dryer on medium heat for about five minutes just to make sure everything is locked into place. Those five, 10 minutes are up, and now we're gonna to proceed to cut her excess lace using our eyebrow razor. Don't worry, I know the wig looks crazy right now. As I told y'all in the beginning, I plucked hella holes in this wig. I overplucked it, just, you know, just did way too much, but I'm going to finesse this wig. And even though I messed up this wig, do not get me wrong, this is a great wig from Clyde Hair. I love Clyde Hair, they always send quality products. The mess up mistake happened on my end, baby. Because I was just, you know, I don't know. I don't know what happened in there. Maybe I was mad at somebody or something, but yeah. <laughs> so, yeah.
So now we're separating her baby hairs out in the front and in the back and then we're going to spray that lace all the way around with our hair flex hairspray just to start melting that lace and of course i'm gonna tie the front and the back down using our elastic band and while they're tied down i'm going to proceed to press the hair out because i am doing a sleek straight ponytail today and i need the hair to be you know flat iron so I, it could just be as flat as possible And as always, y'all already know I'm using my Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Spray and my Babyless Nano Titanium Black 2-inch Flat Irons from Sally Beauty. Um, the Beyond the Zone Spray is from Sally Beauty as well, and we're just going to press that hair out bone straight. Let's compare the bow dry side on the left to the flat iron side on the right, period. Let's get into it. So I went ahead and pre-slicked the hair up and now we're gonna take those elastic bands off. And now we're gonna cut those baby hairs and start swooping them down. Now I did only do the front baby hairs uh, the first go round. I didn't do the back baby hairs till I completed the entire style because that's just how I do on my full lace wigs. Honestly, I would probably never put mousse on the back of somebody's head if I have a full lace wig and it's glue in the back. I'm just too scared it would come up. So I only put mousse or foam on the front. For the back, all I do is just curl the baby hairs upward like I normally do. And I just swoop those with either gel or hairspray. But I do not do the same process in the front or the back when it comes to baby hairs. 
So for this process, you will only see me swooping the front baby hairs and you will see like the hairs I have just separated in the back for the baby hairs, but you won't see them completed because I don't complete those until the entire look is done. But we gonna go ahead and do the front one. I know that was a mouthful, but let's get into it. So now she's off to a high hooded dryer for 20 minutes and now we're back and now we're about to start slicking this ponytail up. I use my freeze spray and my even spray and I just get to slicking it up uh, using my rat tail comb. Sometimes I use a board bristle brush. Um, what I'm going to do at first is just go ahead and slick this up into a ponytail. And um, this doesn't have to be the final ponytail, but I like to just go ahead and stick it up into a ponytail. And then I just take some more hairspray and start making it, you know, like really, really neat. And then I take that ponytail off and then I just go ahead and do my final ponytail. Um, but you can pop your rubber band, pop your ponytail holders as many times as you need to until it gets perfect because a ponytail is all about perfection. It needs to be in the middle of the head. It needs to be sleek. It just needs to be perfect. Her ponytail is now perfectly in place. So now we're gonna take this 24 inch bundle and some weave track glue. And we're just gonna wrap that around the ponytail just to give it a more fuller look. Um, you'll see how I wrapped it around the ponytail here.
After that bundle is glued around the ponytail, we're gonna spray it with some spritz and blow dry it just to make sure it's locked into place. And then we're gonna do our wraparound piece just to hide the track and just give it a more polished, sleek look. So I take my wraparound piece from the back and what I do is I curl it. That way, once you wrap it around the ponytail, you know, it just, it just easily wraps better. Just think about how we do the baby hairs. We curl them because when it's time to swoop, they just lay in the swoop automatically. So I'm curling it so it can lay in this wrap around automatically. Spraying that wrap around with some even spray. And every time I go around the front, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back side of the hair. That's just gonna keep that wrap around secure. Cause I'm telling y'all now, I done did plenty of ponytails with hairspray. And you know, a couple days later, the wrap around be trying to come down. But see what that, that glue does is, it reinforces it. Um, I know a lot of y'all be scared to put like the glue directly on your hair, but girl, it's a ponytail. Just put the glue on the hair, <laughs> trust me. And I learned that shit, that trick from my girl, um, Teresa here on YouTube. Her name is Certified Touch. I watched one of her ponytail videos and I saw that she used glue to help keep that wraparound piece into place. So thank you, girl. That tip really helped out. Y'all know I don't mind telling y'all where I got my tips from because we all need to win. Period. And then you go hit that with some spritz and blow dry it into place, and baby, it is gonna be locked and loaded. And now we're gonna give that ponytail a blunt cut and then bump those ends using our flat iron. As you can see, you can still see the hairs that we're gonna use for the baby hairs in the back, but like I told y'all off camera, I'm just gonna curl those upwards and slick those down with my even hairspray and they're gonna be done. <laughs> I just didn't show it on camera. Cause girl, this is already such a long video. I didn't want to bore you guys. And let's get into it. You can't even tell this wig had all them holes in it, baby. Okay, period. Like I really love the fact that I showed y'all that I make mistakes too, but I just know how to, you know, come back from them. Hey, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Once again, this 360 Lace wig is from Kalai Hair. Make sure you check the description box below for links and information on how to purchase this wig. Also down below in the description box is information on how to book your appointments with me. Jewel appointments are available in Atlanta, Georgia. I can't wait to see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.